Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Security Nibbles. So happy to have you here with me today and as you can see on the screen we've got Wapiti up and essentially if you did not know this Wapiti is another word for elk which I learned recently. And then to the right we've got Matilda which is running off of a Metasploitable box and essentially this is just a vulnerable web application that we're going to run this tool against. So uh, I stumbled upon Wapiti, and the and the thing that I like about it is that it's a web application uh, vulnerability scanner, uh, much in the class of other scanning tools such as things like Expose. Uh, maybe you use Burp Suite or something of that nature to do your testing. It does have some scanning features where it could look for issues in sites. Uh, but I like this tool because one, it's it's free. Uh, donations are welcome according to the creator but it also does a number of things uh, such as look for file disclosure vulnerabilities and uh, it does SQL injection checks it does XML external entity checks it does server-side request forgery checks so there's just a number of things that this can do and then the other thing that I like about this particular project uh, is that it was recently updated as of February of this year so uh, the creator and the support for this are, you know, pretty good. And as you can see here, it's got a number of things that you can run with the tool. Now, in this case, we're going to do a very simple um, check against the site. And essentially, it is going to be what's called the default settings here. And so you simply take the command, put it in, wapity-u here. And essentially you're going to provide the target in question. So in this case, it is specifically the Matilda site on our box. Can't type and talk at the same time for some reason. And we just hit enter here and it goes to work. Now this is going to take a little time to run. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow it to run. There is a way that you can actually just take control C here and I'll show you that one time and you can tell it to actually um, stop a test or to actually continue running. So like here it's running this uh, module XE and essentially it's going to look at 126 URLs and it tells you what it's going to do. So it's going to run all of these things. I'm going to let it run for a few minutes on each and then I'm going to hit control C like this and essentially tell it to stop everything but generate a report based on the data. So I'm going to let it run a few modules so that we can get some data and then we'll be right back and we'll continue where we left off. All right everyone so welcome back uh, everything here is done I went ahead and uh, let everything run for you know about a minute or so so that we can get some data and essentially I did a control C and then use the R option here to stop everything and generate the report for each module as it ran through. So as you can see, it generates a report in root uh, Wapiti generated reports and it's an HTML format. And so as you can see here, it went through another, a number of tests and a number of modules, essentially checking uh, each of these areas. Uh, you've got some cross-site scripting that it attempts to do. Uh, and there's just a long list of things that it managed to go through in a short period of time. And so each of these, as you can see, is a GET request or a POST request essentially where it's trying to do its thing uh, against the web page. We've got some SQL injection attempts. So let's go over to the directory. I've gone ahead and navigated to it. So under uh, Wapiti, which is uh, hidden here, so you just put a dot in front of it and you navigate to generated reports, which is this folder, and the HTML report here with the target address is the one we want to pull up. So as you can see here, it has a pretty nice uh, appearance to it and it's got uh, the vulnerability report information, it's got scan information uh, as well as um, all of these different details. Now the date and time on this uh, is a little off because I don't have it set right on my box. But as you can see here we've got uh, a number of vulnerability categories that come up and so if we just continue to scroll down you can see that it gives you a good description followed by uh, some of the, the things that it has attempted to do so if I were looking at you know SQL injection is probable against the username parameter which is passed through in the URL here 
then I would take this request and I could run it through something like SQL map to do some validation and see if we can take advantage of that. Uh, just another set of areas that it comes up with here. So it's got those. And then the thing I love about it is toward the end, it gives you a general recommendation and some additional references. Now, um, let's just say we wanted to check one of these. And so in this case, we've got some file handling and it tells us that there's local file disclosure on the box. So we can take this component of the GET request and there's some encoding that happens here in the URL as it passes through. And we can take that and go to the Matilda page and we can do a little validation of our own here. And we can actually see that there's some file inclusion. So essentially what it's doing here is it's able to reach into the host system and pull uh, what should be a protected uh, you know, file from this directory. So again, like the tool, I think that if you're not um, you know, a web application tester by trade or maybe uh, you know, you're know you a network administrator and you have a client that asks you about a website and their security standing and you know budget's tight or you really don't know what tool would be best to use, this is something great to run against the site. Get this report and then pass it over to you know the web dev folks or the people that host the site and say, hey, here's some things we found during testing at the client's request um, and you know validate these things and see if we can get them addressed. So overall, I hope that you've enjoyed kind of seeing what uh, Wapiti has to offer. Again, if you're going to use this tool, always use it with permission. I would recommend maybe starting with web pages that you own and doing some things of that nature and just seeing what you get out of it. So with that, thank you for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.